accident in Maharashtra Buldhana. That's a top focus. We'll get you details ahead in the show. But first to news that is just coming in and this is about Tista Satilwar. This is bad news for Tista Satilwar that is now coming in. No relief uh, for her from the Gujarat High Court. The single uh, bench of Justice Nirzar S. Desai asks uh, Tista Satilwar to surrender immediately. Court also turns down Tista's lawyer's request for an interim stay on the order enabling her to knock at the doors of uh, the Supreme Court. Uh, so no relief for Tista Satilwar. Uh, she has been accused uh, by, by uh, the local uh, agencies there of uh, not being true uh, to, to the role that she was playing as far as uh, the Gujarat uh, uh, investigations of 2002 were concerned. Uh, and a demand for bail also has now been turned down. Uh, there's no relief that has been given to her by the Gujarat High Court. All attempts by her legal team to secure some kind of a window to knock at the uh, apex court has also been turned out. Ananya Bhatnaga with me. Ananya, any further details, the grounds on which High Court said that the bail is cannot be granted? Well, uh, the single judge bench of, uh, in fact, the Gujarat High Court has dismissed uh, this particular bail application. This was the, remember, regular bail application filed by Tista Sidhuwad. Though uh, in the oral pronouncement, not much of reasons were actually given out by the court. Only the operative portion was read out. Now, what is this case is that, you know, uh, post the verdict uh, that coming from the Supreme Court with regards to uh, Zakia Jafri, the Supreme Court had said that uh, uh, there is some kind of, a, uh, you know, a, a conspir criminal conspiracy that was hatched to frame... Uh, uh, the then Chief Minister and now Prime Minister Narendra Modi and these uh, people who were a part and parcel to this conspiracy, including Tista Sweet Lord, uh, should be put into perspective and should be, you know, uh, taken into account for what they have done. Uh, and the uh, post that uh, she, along with I, um, uh, the former IPS uh, R.B. Srikumar, was arrested with uh, with regards to, you know, fabrication of evidence in this particular case. And in fact, in the charge sheet that's been filed in this particular case, it was said that she had also received uh, uh, an amount of around 30 lakh rupees from one of the Congress leaders uh, with regards to this whole conspiracy. And she was uh, one of the key persons with regards to this criminal conspiracy. And, and this was the whole case that was against Sita Sidhuwar. The court has... Uh, now dismissed her bail application. Remember, she was on interim bail uh, since uh, uh, since the Supreme Court had in September 2022 granted her an interim bail in this particular case, and she was out. Uh, 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 you know, uh, she was out of the judicial custody. But with this order coming in, she will have to surrender immediately. And the Supreme Court also, uh, and the Gujarat High Court also turned down her request to, you know, knock the Supreme Court, to get, give her a window to knock the Supreme mm, Court. Mm. So definitely, this is a no relief coming in for Tista Sitlwad. But uh, when and uh, how she knocks the Supreme Court is something that we'll have to wait and watch for. But okay. this is, uh, and she'll have to go back to the jail, definitely. All right. All right, Ananya, thank you so much. We'll depend on you to tell us if there are any developments on this case as far as the Apex Court is concerned.